Hey everyone, welcome to Nat One's Tabletop Tavern. My name's Sarah, Amanda, Mickey, and Thomas. Here, you will get to watch us play all sorts of different board games, card games, and pretty much anything that you can play on top of a table. You will get to watch us play the tabletop games for the first time, which means as we learn, you will too. Adventure with us through the ups and downs, the ensuing fights, and me winning almost every game against these three. Asterisk. So tune in every Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific time for new episodes of Tabletop Tavern. This is Cinder. The dragon of your dreams is on Cinder. Get matched today. <laughs> oh, jeez. So stop waiting for love. Find it on Cinder. So we are dating dragons. Okay. New markers! <laughs> you guys know how I love that? Okay, so there are places, I believe, going to be picking certain traits and things like that that you have, and you're trying to match traits with the dragons that show up, and you flip them over, and then you basically choose to swap. Okay. Swipe, left or right. Okay. And then when you swipe, you go on a date, and there's a whole process, and there's like dice rolling and things like that involved okay. in this. So, here are sexy dragons <laughs> that pure spitfire and they have cute little like descriptions like you would see on a dating app like how you yeah. would describe yourself but <laughs> you don't get to know until you actually swipe what their likes are nice. and so they have different like attributes and um so there is a single player oh nice okay game. all right so everybody gets to pick a character like a cartoon character Ooh, I want to be this one. I want to be the... Oh, no. I might want to be that one. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, look at all the choices. Uh, oh. Oh, ooh, Medusa hair. Damn. Uh, all right, hold on. Let's find out what this is all about. Continue, Unicorn. So each player chooses a user profile card with a profile pick that will represent them in the game. With a dry erase marker, give your character a name, a pronoun, and a like, and or a dislike to round them out. It's just for fun. Um, on the compatibility marker chart, match or chart of your profile card, circle one of the three attributes listed for each trait. Pick only one attribute per row and no more than two in any given column. So you can't have all in the same column straight down. Okay. Give each player one try again card. One for you, one for you, one for you, and one for you. Medusa lady. My pronoun is going to be they because my snakes are a part of me. Nice. I didn't put a pronoun on mine, but I like my name. <laughs> my profile name. <laughs> what is it? It's M84 Life. So it's a mate for life. Mate. <laughs> nice. Uh, likes snakes. Dislikes. Stone. All right, mine is Medusa. Boom. I like the artwork on this mm -hmm. time. Yeah. Nice. Okay, so this is going to be our app deck. We're going to show three pictures. That's our dating pool. These are locations. Um, and it shows the image of the map facing up and then there's more information on the back. Just okay. FYI. But under there. Place all the dice nearby within reach. Okay, so Cinder is a push your like luck dice game about dating awesome dragons without getting burned. Mm -hmm. On your turn, you'll have the chance to roll dice up to three times, once for each stage of your date. Well, let's see, try to roll as many hearts as possible without busting to earn love points, but roll three fire over the course of your date and lose the points for that turn. So first you're gonna choose a dragon to date. You're gonna examine the profile of the dragon on top of the app deck. If it is a new dragon, read the name and profile text aloud for the group. <clears throat> the text may offer clues to, as to how compatible your character may be with them. If you feel they should be, um, they could be a good match for you, swipe right to initiate a date with that dragon. Not feeling it, swipe left, removing the dragon from the top of the app deck and placing them in the dating pool. So it's like comes down and there's nice. always three and then the last one gets moved out of rotation. Poor guy. Right. Um, if another dragon is added to the pool, it forces them out. Okay, a player may swipe left twice 
uh, for three on their turn. Any additional swipe lefts beyond the two cost one love point per swipe. A player may also choose to date any dragon in the dating pool even after swiping left. Okay. A player may choose to date a dragon they have previously dated in their dating circle. Um, see successful dates. So if you successfully date somebody, you get a dating circle. Okay. okay. Lastly, a player can decide to date a dragon in another player's dating circle. Oh. But dating a dragon from another player's circle costs three love points. Okay. And you might be like super compatible. Right. With that dragon. Um, okay, so once you've chosen a dragon to date, you place the dragon beside your character's user profile card and flip it over, revealing the dragon's compatibility chart and special powers. You compare your compatibility chart to your own in order to assemble your dice pool. So your compatibility tells you how many dice you get. Okay. For each attribute that you match, you get a green die. Um, they're the best because they have four hearts on them and only two fire symbols. Okay. Um, for each one that's only one away, you get a blue, and for each one that's two spaces away, you get a red. Okay. You draw the top location card from the location deck. You read the description out loud. This is where your the dragon wants to go on your date. <clears throat> you flip it over. The first set of rules shows um, shown can impact your dice in your dice pool, and you make these changes. And then you check the dragon powers and the location bonuses, and you date, and you start to roll your dice. Um, a date has three stages, and so you can push your luck to gain love points. So the stages are the meetup, the next step, and if things are going well, taking it to the next level. Yes. <laughs> you must always attempt the stages in order, starting with the meetup. You roll the dice in your pool, and each part counts as potential love points towards however. So if you ever accumulate three uh, or fires, then you're getting burned. Okay. So you roll them, each heart roll counts as a potential love point towards your score. However, each fire rolled counts towards getting burned and that's not good. Place any fires rolled on top of your profile card. These are no longer part of your dice pool for future rolls on this date. So it's like permanent. Oh, you may stop rolling and bank your love points after any roll. Okay. However, if at any time during your date, three or more fires results and are placed on your card, then you're burned and your turn ends. If you decide to stop rolling after the meetup stage, you may bank your love points to increase your score and end your turn. While nice, such a short encounter cannot technically be considered a successful date. The dragon you dated will be placed in the leftmost spot. So in order to, con to be considered a successful date, you must get to the next step. Okay. Okay. Ending your date upon successful completion of the next step or the next level, add the total love points earned this turn to your score, marking them on the bottom of your profile card. And then the dragon you dated remains next to your profile card in what is called your dating circle. He'll stay there until you are burned by this dragon on a later date if you choose to date him again. When a date ends in a burn, you will earn a second chance card, one of these, okay. based on the number of fire um, results rolled in their final throw of the dice. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. Okay, when a player has reached 21 love points, the end of the game is triggered. Everybody gets one last turn to play. And that's it. What was his name? Sarar. Sarar. Okay. And he has this little lightning bolt symbol. Which I don't know what that means. Oh. But there are symbols on these cards. Okay. I'm going to pass. Okay. So I'm going to swipe. What is it? Left. Left is to get rid of. Right is left. I'm swiping left. Left. <laughs> left. Felixie, the cat keeper. I've traveled far and wide to find rare and fluffy felines to befriend. I'd love to tell you more if you're even half as adorable as they are. Mm. Pass. <laughs> <laughs> Giotti, Acolyte of Ascension. Salutations, I'm a humble student of enlightenment. I have taken many monastic vows, but celibacy is not among them. Oh! <laughs> let us share in a moment of discovery. All right, I am gonna date him. Okay. So I flip him and I see how much do we have matching. Okay, he's one off for me here. Nice. So that means I get a blue. Ooh, we're two off, I get a red. We're one off here and we're right on here. So I get a green. Nice. Okay. Okay. Now it says when he enters my circle, if I keep him in my circle after a successful date, then I get to do some things. I can change some things around. Okay. So now I roll to date. Okay. First. 
Oh, no, wait, I'm sorry. First, I have to select my Oh, that's right. Where my, are you going? We're going? He wants to take me to a mystic picture show. One cannot help but be impressed by this stunning form of entertainment. Mm -hmm. Mystic picture shows. The meetup. We're having tapas. Mm -hmm. Your treasure die... Your treasure die is green here. Bonus. Roll a spark on your last roll of a successful date and add one love point. Your treasure die is green here. What does that mean exactly? I don't know. Oh, I'm sorry. Treasure. So I got... Oh. We were one off, so I got a blue. So I get a green. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. All right. So now I roll. Come on, hearts. Tapas. I love food. Oh, shit. I got three hearts. I did get burned. Okay, three. Wonder what happened. <laughs> I know. Well, I didn't get burned. I was not. Maybe I said something I shouldn't. So three is successful, correct? Yep. So it's um, a section of the date per roll. So, so that was just your meetup yep, phase. That was my meetup. So we're going to the next step. He's taking me to the movies because I haven't gotten burned yet. So I re-rolled it. So I have three hearts so far. So you can, if you want, you don't have to. Well, I don't want to bank now because I won't get to enter into my circle because it's not a successful date unless you complete the second step. Next step. I see. Okay, okay. Oh, I totally got burned! Oh, dang! And I'm not going to use that because it's only one. Yeah, it won't matter. On a successful day. Never mind. Damn. Uh, I was going to say, at least you got one point from the spark. So I don't get <laughs> any of my hearts. And I don't get to add him to my circle. No. So he goes to the discard. Fuck you, Giotti. It's <laughs> never going to work. He goes to uh, the leftmost spot of the dating pool. Oh, I'm sorry. He can go the leftmost. And then oh, the no, leftmost is the one that gets put out. Yeah, because you're swiping yeah. that way yeah. when you say so no. So these two would be where they were. Yes. All right. Okay. Because so, you drew that one first, mm -hmm. and then that one second, and then he's third, but then you got burned. Oh, I see, I see. Okay, okay. I got you, I got you. Uh, you do you. earn a second chance card based on the number of fire results rolled in their final throw. Oh, I had four, so. You take the three. Yep. All right, Mickey, you're up. So you get to choose these, or you swipe and draw the next one, right? I'll do it, I'll do it this one. Ooh. One way. Blue. Matching green. Two away. And two away red. Fuck. Mickey's dating Sir Oh wait, 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 where is he taking Yeah, you? where are you going? In my place. Oh, <laughs> damn, this is a booty call. It's technically my folks' place. Uh, they have a great house on the lake. They would love to meet you. That's oh. what it says, technically my folks' place. Yeah. That's hilarious. <laughs> All red dice are blue dice here, though. Nice. Okay, okay. That's better. That is nice. He ups his charisma in his place. <laughs> All right. Uh, roll a spark on your first roll, gain an apology card. Mm. So we're going to lunch at his place? Yep. Oh, all hearts. Full success. Look at that. Nice, okay. All right, I guess we're going swimming too. Oh, skinny people swimming? Mm -hmm. Oh, Ooh, okay. so seven now? I guess I'll stay for dinner. I mean, we just want swimming. I gotta get changed now. Oh, oh nice. ten? Okay. Oh my god. Ten. And, and ten. in the dating circle. And you get two because it's 12 because you... No, I didn't roll a spark on the last roll. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yep. Just the 10. No, just the 10. Just half just, the points he needs to yeah. win. Dang, it's okay. nice. It's just 10. That was good. And he's out of the dating pool. Do you, do you want to read? Yeah. Because you're up. Okay. Is this Wonnery? Honory? Oh, Miri? Yeah, sure. <laughs> oh, okay. Not quite sure. Um, no, your eyes okay. don't deceive Any you. Are just you the try again. They're all trying again. Or no, they're all second chances. Oh, they're in the box. Okay. Sure. My bad. My bad. Sorry, he gets a card. Oh. This guy's extra swamp. Extra. Nice. All 
right, so we're going to call this one Onery. Okay. Because we don't actually know how to pronounce the name. I don't know how to say that, yeah. <laughs> Onry. Onry. Right. Onry. That's like right. Henry. No, your eyes don't deceive you. I'm a real dream come true. But you have to be comfortable knowing I may be just as fleeting. Um, that makes me nervous. So I'm not going to do He's a that. hit him and quit him kind of guy. Right. Not looking for that. All right. Minoru, the eight-tailed. Mm. I'm all about the nightlife, and I'd be delighted to show you all the best spots to mingle, dance, and drink in the realm, especially if you're buying. Ooh, it's cheap. Mm. All right. Mm. All right, all right, all right. I'm delighted. Okay, I'll try it. Oh, all right. I'm trying to him over. All right, so for treasure, we're two away on the treasure. Rip dice. But one away for the climate. We are the same lifestyle and the same social. Oh, whoops. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> no, you got the right ones. Yeah, totally. Where is he going to take you? Where are we going? I thought it said party. <laughs> <laughs> party at Bez's place. No one throws a party like they do at Bez's. Ask for the VIP room and bottle service for a great night. We're gonna meet up with some friends. I'm gonna upgrade your social die by one. So these can't be upgraded. My social, which one was my social? It was oh, your body. It was our agreed. Yeah. yeah, that sucks. That's okay. Okay, so we're rolling. I wonder how it's gonna go. All fire. Oh, two <laughs> fire. <laughs> It was a little rough. Okay, so, but I can try again, correct? Mm -hmm. You can. Mm -hmm. I think you, you re-roll one. Yeah. Right, yeah. Right, that's what I'm thinking. Okay, I'll turn this in. Yes, okay. Three times, <coughs> one fire. All right, so after meetup and the next <coughs> step, oh, after that, okay. Roll again. Are you going to the dance? We are going to dance. Nice. Ooh, six. Dance went well. Uh, so now, next level. You may pay one love point to remove a fire result. I don't have any points, so I can't pay. Right. Right. Okay. And you could have switched out a roll of. It says um. When you roll a spark on your first turn, which you did, you could have upgraded the die by one. Oh, okay, okay. Which die? This die? I don't, yeah, yeah, that, that would, would be the one to upgrade. Okay, well, okay. Could upgrade the red. I mean, might as well the blue. It's cool. I'm just kidding. Well, just kidding. <laughs> All right, so next level is just chill. Oh, after. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All hearts. Mm. Nice. So you get nine. Nine total. Okay. And then anything happen when he enters your circle or anything? Uh, the top card of the app deck moves to the common dating pool on each turn. You are going to be taken. Okay. The top dark card moves to the common dating pool on each turn. Yes. Mm. Interesting. So you're pushing somebody out. Yeah. Cool. Oh. All right. On each turn or on your on turn? each turn. Oh, okay. So then it's the beginning of Thomas's, so then we... We're going to be going through... Push them out. Dragons oh. here. Damn it. Coppertooth, wanted, paramour for steamy rendezvous. Flair for the dramatic preferred, no capes. No capes. <laughs> That's funny. So is he the one? Castillo? Sure. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right, so red treasure. I get blue four. It's mm -hmm. one way. Climb it, I get a red four. Uh, lifestyle, I get a blue. And social media. Where's he gonna take you? 
Well, Canique. Mm. Okay. The best dance club in the realm. Hot, hot, hot. Oh, woo! <laughs> okay. Sweet. Meet up, dancing, upgrade your lifestyle die by one. It's blue. It's blue, so. Alright. Well, nice. Alright, help it go, but I'll dance and first. Oh, dance first. Nice. A little spark on your first roll. Uh -huh. yeah. And add a blue die for the rest of the day. Mm -hmm. So you keep this card. Powder. So on your card. I put this on my card. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Extra. Yep. Okay. So you have three hearts so far. All right. Hit. What's next? More dancing. <laughs> 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 oh, that's all right. So all right. six total hearts. So far. Yep. What's next? The next level is more. Oh, more! Period. <laughs> Are you gonna do it? Seems like a risk. Don't be burned. Nice! Nine hearts. And was there a bonus for a successful date or anything at the with him? Mm, let's see. After a successful date with Cassiel, you may change one attribute on another player's profile by one degree. I'm wondering, does it have to stay within the limit of maximum two per color? Probably. I'm gonna change yours for the last time. <sighs> but it's not true! <laughs> Okay. All right, now mark down your points. That was nine. nine. Yeah.
You take the pill and use the glove And still you have a child of love A nat one life A nat one life You work all day and make no pay And debt is mounting every day A nat one life A nat one life When the world seems to be Slowly crushing your dreams Anxiety, depression, doubt this now shitting on you you can't even poo journey with us and start to fight your way through this net one
So does that mean I succeed at dancing? Yep. Okay. Yep. So three. Three. Last three. That would put me at 23 mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. Do you want to go for the win? Right. Or do you want to go for second place? Right. <laughs> <laughs> and you can't go again. No, nope, you're the last one. I'm going for it. Do we're, it. We're chilling. Come on, fire. Let's chill. You're How chill, chill it? You chill it until you get the fire. <laughs> How chill are you? Yeah. Right. Woo! So chill. Four. Okay. Twenty-four. Yep. Wait. Yeah. Yeah. She beat you by one. You're twenty. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sarah like wins. Mickey's in second. <sighs> Thomas is in third. Cinder. 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 Ooh, let's date some dragons. Cinder. Cinder is a dragon dating game, which is uh, very similar to Tinder, I guess, what they're trying to go for. Basically, it has the same premise as that. You're dating dragons instead of people, so. It's a little wacky weird, but still kind of fun. Um, in this game, you will make your character and slash your profile, and you will have your uh, certain traits. You can't have all similar traits. You have to kind of split it up a little bit. You will try to be matching with dragons based on their description that they'll be giving you. Probably my only complaint about the game would be is how long it takes if you want to play it properly. We probably spent maybe 10 minutes extra reading rules, but we also read everything listed on the cards, including uh, the quotes from the dragons in their description uh, as like a little bio they put, uh, stuff they like, don't like, yada yada, stuff like that. Then you flip it over and then there's more reading. Uh, we read all of those. We read the descriptions of the places where the day would take you to, things like that. But I think that took up a large sum of time to where we were playing for probably about an hour or more. So you draw which dragon you want to date, and then you draw where you're going on a date to. There's the green die, the blue die, and the red die. The green die has a higher chance of rolling a heart. The blue die is half and half, and then the red die is kind of majority fires, which you don't want. You collect hearts based upon how good the date goes. There's three phases to each date. Um, the meetup, the next step, and then the next level. Ooh. Um, very fun in theory, just the gameplay overall was just kind of slow. You know, it's just kind of slow. You're just waiting around. Amanda, she didn't even break 10 points, which is unfortunate. Who won? Sarah won, I believe. I initiated the end of the game, which I was kind of expecting to do, but I was trying to get more points than just 21. Unfortunately, I stopped right on 21, which allowed the other players to rack up just a little bit more points than uh, what I had. So Mickey ended with 23, Sarah ended with 24. I think I'd give the game probably maybe a 6, maybe a 7 out of 10. I like the game. I feel like if it went a little faster, I think I'd like it a little more. I'd give the game uh, a 6 out of 10. It was... Um... It was an okay game. Yeah, I'm thinking like a 6 out of 10 for this one. It is recommended for ages 14 and up. I would not recommend bringing this one as like a first time board game with friends and family. The cards are a really nice quality. The dice are standard dice. They have the hearts, they have the fires. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'd give it a 5. I honestly wouldn't reach for this game again. I would play it if somebody else picked it out, but it would not be one that I would choose to play. Um, the descriptions, the names of the dragons and everything like that are super funny. Uh, the artwork is really fantastic, but in terms of execution of actual gameplay, it's kind of blah. Cinder. Date some dragons. Don't get burned. Thank you guys for joining us on today's Tabletop Tavern. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as we did. Let us know what you thought in the comments below and let us know what new games might be coming out that you'd be interested in seeing us review or play. 
Also, follow along on our life journey by checking out our website or social media sites like Facebook, Twitter, or an, and Instagram. All links are down in the description below. Like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. And we'll see you next week on Tabletop Tavern. <laughs> <laughs>